to Gypsy Rose Papery. Today I have a flip through of these two journals, which I'm calling the Winter Blues, pun intended, because they're blue and they are winter related. And I've had these done for quite some time. I'm going to take off my watch here but time just has not allowed me to film. These will be available in my Etsy shop. Um, and so we'll quickly jump around. I guess I'll start with this one first. Um, so both covers are pretty much the same. And they just have a little bit of blue satin ribbon here and then satin on the spine for support. And so these are covers from an old Ideals magazine. I was using the inside and the covers were so beautiful. You can see this is one of the covers. I think this one was the back cover. I couldn't bring myself, oops, man overboard. I couldn't bring myself to like cut them into tags or something. So they were perfect for TNs. So they are both pretty much the same. They have these pockets on the inside and the inside of the cover has been um, backed with fabric and like a winter blue scene. I have some fabric tags and I think all of them are um, sprayed with blue tattered angels. I have leftover pages from the magazine. I made some tabs with a little bling on them and they run all the way down. So just an assortment of papers. I made some textile tags. And a pocket. I used pages from my Christmas books that I found during my thrift haul during my birthday. This is just a little flip out. And so I know that uh, Christmas is here now. <laughs> this is a little uh, glassine envelope and a vintage tag and a little tiny tag. But these would be good for if you wanted to start like a winter journal. There's some Christmas stuff, but not overtly Christmas, I don't think. It's more like winter scenes, some textiles. I also use some of the um, Artie Mays, oof, I'm forgetting the name. Winter Woodland, maybe? I don't, I don't know the name, I'm sorry, but it's, I'll link it down below, but it's, it's definitely Artie Mays. It's the only digis that I used in here and I tried to keep it more on the nature-y side and these drawings and these books are gorgeous this is another fabric tag and i use twine as the little embellishment on top and all of the tags have metal grommets and they're sewn around and this one is sparkly i don't know if you can tell but they they are sprayed and so you can continue to journal this i would say in the winter months because, like I said, they're very neutral. They're more on the planar side, although I did make some middle of the signature with some pom-pom trim. I did make some ephemera. Gorgeous image from that Artie Maze kit. This one has a little blasting envelope. And it has a cigarette card or tea card. I can never tell. I think this one was a tea card because it says tea at the bottom there just a little vintage tea card more textiles they're pretty straightforward i use this ice blue thread throughout as an accent some decorative edge punching the images in this book are absolutely stunning and I went through this book in my book haul, which I can link at the end of this video. If you have not seen that, I have a little boxing bag and here we have another tea card, another tag. And then behind it, there is another tag there. 
to the foot. Another foot. And this sparkly star tissue paper is from Ayosier. Thank you, Ayosier. I knew as soon as I got it, I knew what I was going to use it for. Another of those sparkly birch trees. And then flip. Oh, I think we got a stuck one there. So the, again, the papers aren't overtly Christmas. They are more on the cool side. Another gorgeous snowy tree. I did sign it and date it. And then here I have a textile tag and these were inspired by Ozier. They're like the sweater tags. And this is actual crochet that I did a long, long time ago. Can't remember, probably, gosh, at least, at least 10 years ago. So this is the first one. And I'm going to list this as the Winter Blues Farm one. This has got a little farm image there. Gorgeous little red barn. And then this one has an ice skating uh, motif there. Really beautiful. Same kind of cover with the satin trim on the spine and the top corner. Same type of cool winter themes on the inside. So we have another fabric tag and I won't take all these out because they're the same on the back. The glittery tabs and those are courtesy of Linda Israel. I was watching her channel and she was talking about all kinds of different tabs and how you can make them and so I will link that down below. This one has book pictures from Frosty the Snowman. I think that is the only difference in this one. You've got this sparkly blue Christmas tree. And then here I have a vintage tag and another tiny tag. And these glassine envelopes and little bag are the only coffee dyed thing in here. Everything else is scrapbook paper or paper from the Ideals magazine. And I'm sorry if I'm rushing, but I just feel like they're both pretty much the same. So have a little tuck. Actually, this tuck is for this guy here. Here's an upside down tuck and we have those glittery birch trees and another tag. And this guy's slipping and sliding all over. And glittery paper, that's all I have left. This is a flip with some sewing detail. I did spray a lot of the pages. There goes Frosty. Some textile. This one also has the pom pom trim in the same middle. This one also has a little tea card, and this one is a fox. Textile, Frosty's hat. Frosty going down the hill with his friends. Some more of that Artie Mays winter kit. Flippity flip. Little doe tag, so cute. I love, love, love this fabric. This one has the vintage tea card and its walruses and another tag. And it has a little bit of that sparkle fabric um, kind of as an accent there, a tag behind it. Oops. Some more textile. This is about as Christmas as it gets in here. Um, but it was a lot of blue, so I wanted to kind of break it up a little bit. And another sweater, cozy sweater tag inspired by Ozier. And I did sign this one as well. So these will be up in my Etsy shop if anybody's interested. 
i hope you guys have a wonderful day thank you so much for watching i'll see you on the next one bye Thank you.